Hello everyone, welcome back. In this particular video, we'll try to understand the data type in Python. So, as I already told you, inside Python, we are having so many data types, okay, like string, integer, boolean, complex, and so on, right? So guys, instead of talking too much, let's go back to our code editor and try to understand this particular data type inside Python. So here, first of all, let me write down the agenda name. So if you want to write something, let's say if you want to write some title and the topic name, what you can do. So if you just hover on the cell, okay, you will see one text option. Just click on the text. You will get a text cell here. Now here you can write something. Let's say you can write, uh, this is a Python data type, okay, data, data type, okay, data types in Python. Now, again, if I uh, press shift and uh, enter, you will see this particular cell would be executed. And now it would be considered as a text. Okay, it would be considered as a title. Now you can see this particular title is like very small, but I want to make it as a bigger. What I can do again, I can double click on top of it. Now to make this particular uh, like title bigger, what I can do, I can take one symbol called hash. Okay, hash symbol I can take. Now if I again press uh, shift and enter, you will see. Now you can see this particular title has become uh, large. Now also you can control the size. If I take two hash, you will see it would be a little bit smaller than the previous. Okay, that's how you can control the size. Now I'll take the one hash only. And if I press shift enter again, so you will see my uh, title is ready. Okay, now you can also like give the title. You can note it down. That's whatever topic actually we're learning. You can note it down here. So if you're uh, referring this particular no notebook, let's say after one month, two months, okay, or let's say six months, still you will be able to understand, okay, uh, what is the topic actually you have learned in this particular notebook. Okay, that's how we can. Uh, manage your notes okay you can manage your notes so this is one amazing tool guys from the google side they have developed okay so here you can not only code you can also uh, create the markdown so this is called markdown actually uh, that means you can also uh, take as a note okay you can also give the title you can also give the description let's say i want to give a description what you can do just below of the title i can write the description let's say python okay python is awesome okay that's how you can give that description as well now let me just remove this particular line and only take the uh, this particular uh, title now guys inside python actually we are having uh, some of the data types so the first data type we are having something called integer let me just write down all of the data type first of all so the first data type which is nothing but integer okay and the second data type we are having something called float okay float Float. float means this is the decimal point that means decimal point if you are taking any decimal point this is called float okay and the third data type we are having something called boolean this is called boolean boolean all right that means true or false and the fourth data type we are having something called string okay string string means you can also consider as a text text that means word sentence this is called actually string and float means this is the decimal okay decimal okay decimal value here i can write like that in a bracket i can write like this is a decimal this is called decimal and this is called text so in a normal actually term we call it as a decimal and text but in programming language we call call it as float and string okay not decimal and text uh, then the fourth data type we are having uh, sorry the fifth data type we are having something called complex okay complex complex type data i'll tell you what is this particular complex type data type okay and the sixth actually we are having called list seventh we are having tuple and uh, eight we are having eight we are having something called sets okay nine we are having something called dictionary dictionary okay uh yes so these are the actually nine uh data type available inside python i'll be discussing each and everything one by one so see here after actually six that means list tuple sets dictionary this is not only data type this is also called a data structure inside python okay i'll tell you this particular data structure in detail i'll be discussing like list in detail tuple in detail sets in detail and dictionary in detail okay no need to worry but these are the actually major data type inside python you will get like integer float boolean string and complex now let me just save this particular description now let's first of all try to understand this particular integer type data now how to write this particular integer type data see but before that let me show you the comments in, inside python like how to give a proper comment okay how to give a proper comment let's say if i'm writing something let's say i want i'm writing something here i'm writing some code let's say i'm written one print statement so print let's say my 
name is Bappi. So this is a print statement I have written. Okay. Now let's say if I want to comment. Okay. If I want to make a comment. Let's say if I want to pin a comment. So what I can do here. So that later on I can understand. Okay. This is a print function. That's how we have written. Okay. So for this I can use this particular hash symbol. Okay. And here I can write. This is a comment. This is a comment. Uh, this print function. Print a sentence okay sentence now see this particular line would be considered as a comment that means this won't be executed let's say if i execute my program see only my name is bappi is printing okay this particular sentence is not getting printed this is getting ignored this is getting ignored by the python interpreter because python is an interpreted language so every time it will read line by line it will read line by line so whenever it will come in this particular line by seeing this particular hash symbol, it will automatically consider this is a comment. This is a comment inside Python. Okay. This is a comment inside Python. Okay. So this is called actually single line comment. This is called single line comment. Now there is another comment actually we'll get called multi-line comment. Okay. Let's say you want to comment. Um, let's say you want to comment, but it is not possible in one line. Okay. You need multiple line. That time you can do multi-line comment. So how to do the multi-line comment for this? You have to use this particular uh, six, uh, six double quotation. Okay. So three on top and three below. Okay. Now inside that you can write any kinds of comment. Let's say uh, this is this is a multi line comment. Okay. This is a multi line comment. Uh, comment this is this print function. print uh, print something here I you can write anything now see here I can add as much as line I can okay add much as line I can now if, still if I execute this particular program only my name is Bappi would be printed okay and this would be considered as my multi-line comment and this is a uh, single line comment okay single line comment okay so that's how actually you can uh, do the comment inside Python programming okay so this is what I just wanted to tell you because now I need the comment actually. That's why I just told you, okay, how to write the comment inside Python programming. Now let's say, first of all, I'll be discussing about integer. So first of all, let me comment. So this is a integer discussion we are doing. Okay. So this is an integer discussion we are doing. Now, what is integer number inside Python? The number actually we use and it doesn't have any decimal point. Okay. This is called integer number. Let's say whatever number actually we are having. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so on. Okay, this would be considered as my integer number. Okay, let's say if I just write print, uh, let's say three. So this three is an integer number. It's an integer type data type. Okay, it's an integer data type. Okay, it's an integer data type. In Python, whenever I'm talking about data type, it is a integer data type because it doesn't have any decimal point. It doesn't have any decimal point. Okay, so if you don't have any decimal point, if you're writing any kinds of number, okay, which is a, let's say without decimal point, this would be considered as an integer number okay it would be also considered as a like bigger number as well let's say you can also write bigger integer let's say 100 uh, i mean i don't know what is the number but again it would be considered as a integer number because again it doesn't have any decimal point okay so any kinds of number you are writing so it would be considered as a integer number right now there is another data type i told you which is nothing but this particular floating that means decimal one so let me just write float okay float Okay, float data type. So what is float data type? Any kinds of decimal number you are writing, let's say 2.5, 2.5, okay, 2.5. So this is nothing but my floating number. Okay, this is nothing but my floating data type. Now you can also check, you can also check whether it's a floating data type, whether it's an integer data type. Let's say you don't know. Okay, you want to make sure whether it's an integer data type or whether it's a floating data type. You can still do it. So inside Python, there is a uh, pre-built fu function Okay, inside Python, there is a pre-built function called type. So type is a function inside Python. So with the help of type function, actually, what you can do, you can uh, detect whether this particular number is a floating number, whether this particular number is a integer number. Okay, now see here I can write, let's say the number I have given three. Okay, so three, if I just pass three here, so it would be considered as an integer. You can see this is an integer. It has detected automatically this particular number is an integer. Okay, as I told you, this is an integer number. Now let's say I will give this particular number the next floating number let's say it is 
to 0.5. Okay. Now if I execute, see it's a floating number. That's how we can detect the data type. You can detect the data type of any number, right? Now the next data type we are having, I told you, called Boolean. Okay, Boolean. So what is Boolean data type? So if I'm writing any kinds of true and false statement, let's say true in Python, you have to give true like that. Okay, Python is a case sensitive language, guys. Okay, case sensitive language. So here, guys, Python is a case sensitive language. So make sure you are giving the correct case. Okay, whether it's uppercase and lowercase, you have to take care everywhere. So here you can write in a comment, Python is a Python is a case sensitive okay case sensitive language language okay now let's instead of giving the true like that see if i execute this particular code it will print true but let's say if i give true like that if i give true like that instead of giving this capital t i can give a smaller t now see it will throw me error okay it will throw me error name true is not defined okay that's why i told you python is a case sensitive language so always you have to take care of the case okay now there is another boolean uh, which is nothing but false okay false f should be capital again false okay so this will be also considered as a boolean type data that means true and false okay whenever you are having true and false that means conditional statement true and false that time it would be considered as a boolean type data now you can also check it so in a type function you can give this particular true You will see it is a boolean as well as the false as well. It's a boolean type data. Okay. I hope this part is clear. Now the next data type, I think, uh, which is nothing but a string. Okay. Let's, let's copy. Now we have to uh, discuss the string. I think you already saw the string type data, right? Uh, we already written inside our first program. So which is nothing but hello world. So this is called string type data okay because we are writing in a double quotation or a in a single quotation okay so this is called string type data now i can test it so what i can do i can give inside type this particular hello world see this is the string type the str that means it's string type data right now the next data type we have something called complex I think in your school days you have learned the complex number guys i think you know that what is complex number right uh, so this is actually called co complex type data okay inside python so if i want to show you one complex data so here i can write 5 plus let's say 7 uh, j so this is one complex type data see this is a com complex type data you can see the complex number complex number so this is this was available inside mathematics okay in mathematics i think you learned this particular complex number and all okay you can see the entire discussion of the complex number okay see this is the complex number okay so that's how actually if you're writing anything so this is would be considered as a complex number okay complex type data inside python right now you can also detect it so i can give inside that type function and if i copy this particular data, uh, data type and if i give it here execute you'll see it's a complex type data okay inside python now the next thing i think we're having uh list tuple sets and dictionary okay now let's first of all understand the list so here i can comment list okay list now how to define the list list type data inside python so inside print i can write like that so you have to take one bracket you have to take one this particular square bracket inside that if i'm writing some couple of number let's say if i'm writing some list of the number let's say one two three okay so this is called actually list list type data inside python because here it's not a single number it's a list of the number okay that is why it's called list now you can also detect so i can copy this particular number and i can give inside the type function see it's a list list type data type okay inside python now there is another data type so this is the brother of actually list we call it as a tuple okay tuple so how to write the tuple the same thing only i just need to change the bracket so instead of taking this particular um uh, square bracket i have to take this particular parenthesis that means the first bracket i have to take the first bracket okay so this would be considered as my tuple see again it's a list of the number but again we're using the first bracket now you can ask me why we're taking this particular 
square bracket why we're taking this particular uh first bracket and why it is calling as list and tuple okay there is a dedicated session on it guys no need to worry we'll be discussing each and everything in detail okay this is also called data structure in python okay data structure means how it can store the data in efficient way okay in the stories this is called data structure in python so we'll have a dedicated video on this particular topic no need to worry as of now just try to consider is is the data type inside python okay so these are the data type are available inside python okay now the next thing which is nothing but my set sets okay sets now how to define the sets guys so to define the sets only you just need to change the bracket again now you have to take this particular bracket you have to take this particular uh this particular bracket okay this particular bracket okay this particular bracket now if you use this particular bracket you to be considered as a set see now you can also detect uh, okay, I think I haven't detected the tuple. So what I can do, I can copy this particular line and I can give it inside type function. So it would be considered as my tuple. Okay, now I can also detect this particular set. I can give inside type. See, it is nothing but my set. Okay, set, uh, set data type. Now the last one, I think it was dictionary. Okay, it was dictionary. Yeah, it is dictionary okay so how to mention the dictionary data type so it's just a key value pair so let's say print so i'll take this particular bracket the same bracket you take for the sets you have to take the same bracket and inside that you have to write a key value pair, key value pair okay let's say name okay name is bappi then let's say age age is let's say 22 and let's say gender comma gender i think you can see it's a kinds of dictionary okay it's a kinds of dictionary we are implementing right in a dictionary also we are having this particular format so here you can see name is the key puppy is the value again age is the key 22 is the value gender is the key male is the value that means it is storing the data as a key value pair this is called dictionary data type inside python okay we'll be more discussing uh, uh, about this particular dictionary no need to worry okay there are so many examples we'll be giving as of now let's consider this is a dictionary type data now if i print it it will be also printing name age gender okay now we can also detect so what i can do i can copy this particular data and i can give inside type function it's a dictionary type data okay so i hope guys all the data types are clear right now so whatever data type actually we are having inside python i have discussed all of them you can see integer float boolean string complex list tuple sets and dictionary okay so everything i have shown you with an example now i think guys everything uh, is clear in your mind okay so guys in the next video we'll be learning about the variable inside python okay with that guys thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time